on the way to find Jupiter. Celestron Navy X. What is up, YouTube? Uh, I have one clear night. You can see I got working on Jupiter. And look how stable the atmosphere is right now. I mean, you barely see any ripple along the planet right here, like from all the turbulence in this atmosphere and everything. It looks very stable. So this is probably one of the last times I'm going to try Jupiter this season. Uh, it's further and further away. You can see the date. It's already July 2nd. But tonight I saw that the red spot was going to be vis visible, so I said I got to get out here and try it. And plus it's Atmosphere is pretty stable, but it's like 94 degrees right now. Humidity is up. I got a fan blowing on me. I got off spray because of mosquitoes and everything. But anyway, I'm using the Explore Scientific Focal Extender. It's a 2X. I got that on my Celestron 8SE. And on top of the Focal Extender, I have the ASI ZWO, ZWO ASI 224MC color camera. And giving it a shot. I got a load on my AVX mount tonight. And... To keep Jupiter stable, like in this uh, place right here where it's not moving a whole lot, let me hit record. I'm doing 3,000 frames on Jupiter. But what I did was I have my guide scope hooked up, my Orion Shore 280. I'm just doing a basic guide. I just picked a star that's close by Jupiter. You see my numbers are pretty high. Let me clear it a little bit. I didn't calibrate anything. I just let it guide just so that I could keep Jupiter pretty much centered as it's doing the video. See, that's my number is about 120, 130. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as it's guiding straight. So Jupiter, because I have the uh, field of view narrowed down a little bit, just so I could try to keep Jupiter close by and keep my frames up. My frames a second is about 59, 60 frames a second. This is where I have my gain and exposure settings right here. My histograms between like 60%. I don't know if this is right because I only do this like once a year. And my focus, I'm trying to keep it very good. I don't know how good I am. I don't have my JMI or JMU, whatever it was, the motorized focuser that I used to have on my ADSC. I sold that on cloudy nights over a year ago, so now I'm trying to focus by hand. So hopefully it's working. I don't, you know, I'll find out after I try to stack everything and see how it turns out. But I've been really trying to get better at planetary imaging. It's actually a challenge compared to uh, galaxies and nebula because you got to do videos and you got to wait for the atmosphere to be perfect. Either way, I'm going to give it a shot, see how this turns out. And hopefully it comes out good.